In recent years, video calls have become a big part of daily life for so many of us. However, webcams, uh, even those in expensive MacBooks, have mostly remained the same for a long time now, delivering what is at best mediocre uh, image quality. So when Opal reached out with their C1 webcam, which packs image quality more akin to a DSLR camera than a typical webcam, as well as offering a range of smart features, I knew I wanted to check it out. And well, I'm glad I did. In fact, after testing and using the Opal C1, it's become a part of my workflow and a product that I use every day. What initially caught my attention was that Opal is actually backed by creators such as MKBHD, uh, Casey Neistat, and Sarah Dietschy, some of whom actually inspired me uh, to get into this creator industry. First impressions last, and when it comes to tech, the unboxing experience matters. Fun fact, this box design has actually won awards, and as someone who unboxes products for a living, uh, I can see why. Opal have really knocked it out of the park with simple yet premium packaging. Inside the box, we get a thick USB-C cable that is also coiled, followed by a very quick quick start guide, uh, the aluminum camera mount, and also the assembly key. It is always good to see everything you need included in the box. Now let's get to what matters most, the C1 itself. Now it actually comes in two colors, both white uh, and black, and you can't go wrong with the understated look of the black model, but the high contrast look of the white is my favorite. But let me know in the comments, which would you go for? Now, when you think of a webcam, you probably think of cheap plastic, but this is not the case here. The C1 is constructed uh, using aluminum, and this gives a really reassuringly dense feel in the hand, and also means I can confidently carry it in my bag and take it on the go. And this is also where the handy magnetic lens cover comes in, also to add that protection for the lens and extra privacy. The C1 is actually designed by Kenny Sweet, who is the same designer behind the first Beats by Dr. Dre headphones and also the Pixel Watch. And this really unique uh, textured finish on this uh, squared off, very sleek looking design, I think looks great. It is timeless, uh, yet also unique. And the C1, I really think uh, is at home in any setup, whether it be in the office or at home, uh, on my studio display or on my MacBook Pro. Okay, but what about image quality? Well, let's take a look. So here's an example of 4K footage shot in 30 FPS directly on the C1. And you can see that the image looks really good. And this is in part thanks to the C1's half inch sensor, which is the biggest sensor I've ever seen in a webcam. And this is important because it allows for more light to come into the camera, producing an even better image, even in lower light scenarios, which is where most webcams will struggle. Now, in this example, you can actually see how sharp the image is, where it picks up uh, finer details, even in my hair and eyes. And then thanks to the f1.8 aperture, you get a really nice, soft, shallow depth of field look uh, that you also get with much more expensive DSLR cameras like the one I'm shooting on now. And I think this looks really cool. Uh, and what is even cooler is that it can actually be customized in the accompanying app, which I'll show you in a sec. But first I wanna do a comparison on how the Opal C1 compares to my MacBook Pro's built-in webcam. And the difference really is night and day. And I don't just say that because of the brighter image that you get on the C1. Comparing the two, you can see that the C1 is sharper, uh, it retains more details, plus skin tones look more true to life, and unlike the MacBook Pro's webcam, the C1 doesn't add any artificial skin smoothing, so you get a more accurate image, something that I find especially important for personal calls, say when speaking to loved ones. Taking it one step further, here's three clips side by side. So first is one shot on my MacBook, then there's one on the C1, and finally one shot on my over $3,000 Sony DSLR camera. And you can see from the results that again, the C1 is far better than what's shot on my MacBook, and the results aren't far from what you get on my Sony camera. And this is especially impressive considering that the C1 costs less than one tenth of the price of what the Sony camera does, uh, and also takes up far less desk space. Another area that impressed me was the audio quality. Now, a big part of the design of the C1 on the front here are these holes for the multiple microphones that it packs inside. And I found the audio quality to be strong, directional, uh, and really sounds natural and clear to all the others on the call. Have a listen. Uh, and also the audio quality. How do I sound? Is my voice clear? Uh, is it audible? And does it sound natural? Now, aside from the image quality and good sound quality, a big part of what makes the C1 uh, stand out and so special is the accompanying app. Now, this application is free, so there's no subscription, as it should be, uh, and the app also enables some really neat features. For example, you can customize the image like you would on a professional camera, everything from lighting uh, to the color profile, uh, which for a camera nerd like me, I love having this level of customization to get the exact look that I want. 
The app goes even further by letting you adjust the levels of bokeh, which is that shallow depth of field effect that we looked at earlier. Uh, and I found the middle spot to be roughly where I have it most times. Uh, and a feature that I really enjoy using a lot is face lock, which will smoothly sort of follow your face to keep you in frame and centered uh, as you move, which is something that I need because I tend to move when I speak. What is also cool is you can also add visuals. So for example, your name, uh, even your title, and also add an image into your frame uh, and change the backdrop. And all these functions are really well integrated and super easy to use. And as you'd expect, the C1 integrates seamlessly with most major video conferencing apps. I've used it with Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams, and my experience here has been great. Plus, one of the things I also appreciate uh, is that Opal are continuously adding new features to the C1, and one that I look forward to in particular is the noise cancelling mode. This means that one person typing in the background of the call, there is always at least one, uh, won't be as audible to the rest of the group. So at the start, I mentioned that first impressions matter. And when it comes to work meetings, particularly in video calls, your camera quality does play a role in how you come across. Trust me, with the Opal C1, you'll be the best looking person on your next important Zoom call. All in all, for $250, the Opal C1 is such a big upgrade compared to your Mac's built-in webcam and packs image quality that is not far from a much bigger DSLR setup, both bigger in terms of price uh, and also in terms of size. Using the Opal C1 for the past weeks, I've had multiple occasions where people actually point out the image quality and ask me which webcam I use and where they can get one. So to step up your webcam game, be sure to check out the Opal C1 via the links in the description. Let me know if you have any questions at all, guys. Thank you to Opal for supporting the channel and a big thank you to you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.